I'm stood beneath, or next to, a giant ancient lime tree. And this isn't the limes that you put in your cocktails. This is linden or, um, or it's the native lime. So you have a small leafed and a large leaf lime and these are the little flowers. And what's amazing about this is the, on so many levels, it's an amazing tree. So a colony of honeybees needs an acre of flowering plants. Now this tree would have an equivalent of an acre of flowering plants and it will be flowering for about three weeks. So it always flowers around midsummer, sometimes a week before, sometimes a week early um, or a week late. So this one is just starting to flower. So underneath here, I can hear the faint buzzing of bees as higher up the blooms are out. And I'll just show you this tree here as well, opposite. So there's three giant lime trees here. And so to stand here, you can just hear the buzzing. Actually, if we just look there, you can just see around here, if you watch, you'll see some big bumblebees buzzing. Now the nectar rises early in the morning until midday and we need exactly this kind of weather. So it's warm, but it's humid and that allows the nectar to rise. Now the honeybees have shorter tongues, so they've got to have the nectar rising, otherwise they can't access the nectar. The bumblebees have longer tongues, so they can access it whatever the weather. So to get a lime tree honey is really difficult because the climate has got to be just right. But the lime tree honey is one of my favorites. 